Hello, welcome to CTN Member Highlight. I'm Leslie McVeigh, and today my guests are the Cancer Community Center team. Yes. Um, I have Eileen Brown, who is the Development Director. Hi, Eileen. Good morning. And oh, um, uh, Melissa Cookson and Karen Schilling, who are the co-chairs of a wonderful event that's going to be happening soon, and that is the Fight Back Festival. Right. Which is uh, September 24th, and it's held at Pineland Farms in New Gloucester. Well, before we talk about the Fight Back Festival, perhaps you could, Eileen, give us a little background on what the Cancer Com Community Center is and does. Certainly. Uh, so the Cancer Community Center uh, started, we're in our 17th year, and we offer programs and services for uh, adults diagnosed with cancer, their friends, and their family. So uh, if you've been diagnosed, if you're a caretaker, a family member, uh, and the services are completely free to all of our community members. And um, they are uh, range from exercise class to um, acupuncture, uh, creative coloring, there's writing, and there are also support groups. And nutrition. Uh, and, and Yes, all of that. And it's, it really is from every stage mm -hmm. of cancer, so when you're newly diagnosed to when you're going through treatments. And even once you've completed your treatment and you're trying to find your place back in whatever sense of normalcy you have in your life for you and your family and friends so that you can um, engage in all of those activities and part of your life again. Well, I think it's a wonderful place. I've been there a couple of times, and it's just, it feels good walking in the door. It certainly is a feel-good place, for sure. So another thing you're doing to make everybody feel good is this Fight Back event. Yes. So you have two wonderful volunteers here who have um, taken on the responsibility of the co-chair of this event. Do you each want to speak a little bit about why you wanted to get involved and and a little bit about the event. Well, I'm a cancer survivor myself, mm -hmm. so um, when I had the opportunity to um, volunteer at the center, I am, didn't hesitate at all. Um, I started as um, a buddy, um, which is the buddy program, um, which is really they, they um, bring people together that have been through the cancer and been through the terrible times and connect them with somebody that's dealing with cancer now mm -hmm. um, to kind of talk them through it and know that yes what you're feeling is normal mm -hmm. and it's very rewarding so yeah. a little one-on-one -on -one with somebody who really gets it exactly yeah. so it's been really nice oh, terrific and I happen to work as an oncology dietitian, so I see people with cancer all the time. And then I was always sending them to the Cancer Community Center. I knew a lot of the staff. I knew a lot of the volunteers. And I kept doing the bike ride, and then I thought, mm, I could maybe uh, get on this committee and... Step and, it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, just, just add some, some other touches to it. And it's just such a great organization that it, it once once you step in there, it's, it's hard to ever step out. Well, Eileen, tell us a little bit about what will happen that day. What is the Fight Back? Sure. So the Fight Back Festival is the largest fundraiser, and it's mm -hmm. really our um, signature fundraiser for the Cancer Community Center because it really <laughs> is all about community and family and everyone celebrating together. So the day will start um, with registration in the morning at 8.30, and... Um, two bike rides, a 50-mile bike ride and a 25-mile bike ride. Uh, we also have a 5K walk, a 5K run. There's a large kid zone for those that are bringing their family and their children that want to participate. Um, so uh, that's um, managed by the YMCA that is right on site out at Pineland. Uh, and <clears throat> then we have awards. Uh, the Haley Cup is one of them. Uh, I thought they brought it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and we'll have a live band uh, and food, and we'll do uh, some presentations to the highest fundraisers. And that's um, one of what this is. This award is the Haley Cup, and it's given to the top fundraising team for the event. Uh, and so this was started 
uh, this will be the fifth year that it's been given out. It was started by the Haley family. Uh, Tim Haley, um, unfortunately, lost his battle to cancer when he was 44 years old, oh. young uh -huh. um, husband and dad, brother, uh, and was very active in um, uh, while he was sick and said, you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to live and I'm going to, I'm going to fight this. And he did as for as long as he was with us. And, um, so this is a tribute to Tim started by his family, team headstrong, uh, and they've raised over $15,000 each year as a team throughout the year. They raise money throughout the year, all year. So the challenge is, uh, they want another team to get their name on this cup because they want it's not about winning the cup for them it's about raising as much money as they can for the cancer community center That's so great. yeah and melissa it's going to be from <clears throat> 8 30 till um, it usually goes we wrap it up around we have lunch and awards and it, usually one one thirty, sometimes two mm -hmm. um depending on the you know how much fun everybody's having because right. it is a lot of fun right. And Karen, it is a fundraiser. So how yes. do teams form and how do they go out and get money and how do they find out more about how to do that? Mm -hmm. So this is the first year we're having a minimum fundraising of $100, which isn't that much. Many mm -hmm. people can raise that by just asking four friends for $25 or 10 friends for $10. So it's, uh, it's not a high bar, but we want to really emphasize the purpose of the event is fundraising and still having fun. So people at workplaces put together teams. Um, we get teams that volunteer to, to, to do certain volunteer activities like fu uh, man rest stops on the bike rides. Um, and we just try to encourage people th through our workplaces, through our volunteer base to, um, to put a team together and fundraise as a team because it's more fun that way. <laughs> And then, there, do the children do a walk too? Uh, the I mean, the kids can participate in the walk. Many of the kids do walk with their families. Uh, and if you're interested in joining us as a volunteer or raising money, uh, you can go to our website. Mm -hmm. um, there's cancercommunitycenter.org. Uh, and there's also a Fight Back Festival website. Uh, and registration will begin on May 10th. So please join us and it's a lot of fun. Well, and it's a beautiful time of year to be out and celebrating Absolutely. life. Exactly. <laughs> and that's what it is, a and big healing. celebration. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I've already decided I can't do the long bike rides. So maybe <laughs> that little 5K. <laughs> there you go. We'd love to have you. Well, thank you all three of you for being here and for doing this for, for everybody. Thank you, Leslie, thank you for so letting us share everybody. the story. Yeah. Yes.